Yeah, what's going on? What's up, my brothers, man? I appreciate all of y'all, man. Y'all already know the scraps stay woke. I appreciate everybody for, you know, supporting me, liking the videos, subscribing. I just want to say thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Without y'all, I won't, I want to be where I'm at, man. You understand? And basically, this is, I'm trying to help a lot of y'all young brothers, you know, because I'm a young boy myself, but I've been through a lot of things, man. You understand? Far as with, with women. And then black women, because that's basically what I can relate to. You understand? Either the ones in my family, the ones I'm dating. So this is why I'm, I'm basically, you know, the topic basically mainly on black women. And it's not that I don't hate black women, but it's just, but it's just what I dealt with and what I saw and what they didn't want me to see. But I'm going to make this short and simple. I wanted to talk about, like, um now, the females nowadays, how um they weak. You understand? A lot of these females now is weak, like... A female um, nowadays, they have a kid, a son and a daughter. And you understand, you might hear them complaining. Oh, um, I need to take a break. I can't deal with these kids. I can't do this. I can't do that. My grandmother raised me. You understand? I ain't have no mother, no father. My grandmother raised me. You understand? My grandmother took care of three generations. You understand? Because my mother left. My grandmother took care of her kids. She took care of her kids. She took care of her daughter kids. And she took care of her sister kids. She took care of three generations with no man. You understand what I'm explaining? And she worked on top of that. So when, I, when I'm dealing with a female and I see or when, when I'm talking to a female and, and I see them breaking down for they have they might have two kids or three kids and they might be single parents. I understand because there's a lot dealing with kids. You understand? You can't sleep. You understand? As if um when, when a man leaves. The um the mother's always stuck with the kids, doctor's appointments, you understand, dentist appointments. I understand with that. I understand all that. I'm with all that and I can relate to y'all when it comes to that. Granted. But what you gotta realize is this. I don't understand how the hell y'all need a break. What you gotta realize, when you lay down and open up your legs, it ain't no breaks no more once you're pregnant. It ain't no breaks. The breaks is over with. Once you have a kid, your life is over with. This is why your parents always tell you, don't rush to be grown. You understand? Don't rush to have kids. This was, this, this, that was the reason why they told you that. Because when you have a kid, it's not about you no more. You understand? So when I hear women saying, oh, I need a break. Or well, sometimes the women need a break. Once you have kids, ain't no breaks. Bottom line. I don't want to hear, ain't no room under none of that. You understand? Ain't no breaks once you have a kid. Once you have a kid, your life is over and it's about that kid. You understand? To that kid old enough, you understand? To fend for himself old enough to be on his own. Or to that kid 18 or 21 or whatever you want to say. But until that kid old enough to be by himself or be on his own, your life is over. You understand? That's how it goes. This is why your parents tell you as young, don't rush. Don't rush to be grown and don't rush to have kids. You understand? So now when I look at females now and I look at my grandmother, most of the time when a, when a guy grow up, his first love is his mother or the, or the female that raised them. You understand? Female, guys look at what, how they was raised. Just like women, when they got fathers, they, they try to date men according to how their fathers were. The same thing with males. You understand? So, as me growing up with my grandmother, watching my grandmother work hard, watching my grandmother after she get off of work, maybe doing doubles, or my grandmother had two jobs. You understand? She still helped, She still checked our homework. She still made sure we clean up. She still, you understand, loved us, cooked cook for us. She still did all these things with no men. You understand that? As a single mother. So, when I see women now when they is complaining about, oh, I need a break and their father need to come get the kids. You understand? Ain't no breaks. You understand? My grandmother did it with, with three generations. She took care of her kids' kids. You understand? Her sister kids. She took care of her kids. You understand? She took care of, she took care of her daughter kids. She took care of her own kids. She took care of her sister kids. You know what I'm saying? So, when I see women complaining about kids and it's too hard, it's a break. That shit turns you off. Nobody want to be around that. How the, how the hell are you giving excuses and you got kids? And it's people that took care of kids with generation after generation, which, which was my grandmother. My grandmother took care of three, gen, three different generations. It's crazy, man. It's crazy with this, with this world nowadays, man. With these women, man. These women is weak, man. These women is weak. Just like y'all women don't want a weak man. Real men, cause it, it ain't a lot of real men no more. A lot of these guys are simp. You understand? A lot of these, a lot of these guys ain't red pill. But like for the red pill dudes, you understand? That stick up for themselves, that talk up for themselves, that know, that know BS from from far away. I'm talking to y'all. I ain't talking about the guys who still, you you know who you are. You know what you're doing. I ain't gonna get into details, man, cause I don't want to go off subject. But for the real men, my red pill dudes, 
my dudes that let their nuts hang. You understand? My real red pillars. You know who you are, man. And at the end of the day is, my grandmother raised me like I tell y'all, man. I don't want nobody weak, man. You understand? I don't want, oh, oh, I need a break. You know, it's a turn off to real men. These other suckers or these other, these other suckers and these other thirst trap, these thirst, thirsty dudes, let them deal with that, man. And that's why they be in a position they in later on in life. You want strong, somebody that's strong, not weak. Do what they got to do for themselves. You understand? Still treating you good. My grandmother always did that. No matter what and how. When I used to go to my grandmother's crib, even when I left and I moved, I cut in my grandmother's crib. She always, oh, you always, you ate, you hungry. Always made me like special dishes and stuff. Always. I make a mess in the crib. My grandmother clean it up without a problem. My grandmother was strong. She worked. You understand? My grandmother, you understand? She, she did what she had to do. You understand? And it was hard. And it was harder then than now. You understand? So when I see women complaining about they don't get breaks, and I see women having nervous breaks down, those are weak women. You weak. You understand? You ask for equality rights, right? Now you got equality right, rights. Now, you, oh, I work. I, you ask for these things. Women ask for equality rights. You got equality rights. Now you're able to work. Now it's a problem. Oh, I got to work. I got to cook. I got to clean. Oh, I need a break. You understand? These women have a nervous breakdown because of y'all act, y'all act for equality rights. These women is weak. A lot of these black women nowadays is weak. You understand? It's just sad, man. Word, man, I ain't gonna go too much. I just it, it was just something on my mind. It just came across my mind as I was driving. But you understand? Like I said, these women out here is weak, man. And a lot of y'all girls think y'all getting over just because of you. What you gotta understand, your vats ain't gonna get you on but so far, man. That's what you gotta realize, man. Realistically, no real man want no weak chick, man. I don't wanna hear about, oh, I work all week. Oh, the kids, I need a break. Let me. I don't wanna hear none of that, man. Cause my grandmother took care of three generations of no man. So ain't no excuse for nobody. And she worked on top of that. You understand? My grandma was a strong lady, man. You understand? But I ain't gonna go. I'm gonna keep this short and simple, man. Shout out to all my subscribers, man. All my Patreon. Shout out to Black Ram. Shout out to Von Doom. Shout out to Thinking Man Templar, man. Y'all already know I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all already know like, comment, subscribe, man. All my supporters. I love y'all. And I, when I tell y'all I love y'all, I mean this, man. I mean that, man. I mean that from my heart, man. I'm thankful to have y'all. And I just want to just give y'all information because you're not bugging out. Sometimes when you're talking or sometimes you think something right in your mind and you second guess yourself, most of the time you're right. So these are for the dudes who second guess themselves. You're right, man. Go with your first instincts, man. Don't second guess yourself, man. Especially when it comes to women. When things ain't right, it ain't right, man. Stand up for yourself, man. You a man first, man. Men build the world. And man, even though sometimes it's in a it's in a female favor for us through courts and all that. But it's a man world, man. You understand? Stand up for yourself. Love yourself, man. You understand? I love all my brothers, man. All my real brothers. Not the fake ones, all my real brothers, I love y'all, man. All my supporters, I love y'all from my heart, man. I just want y'all to share, get the message out, man. You know what I'm saying? Get this message out, man, to people so they can wake up, man. And at the end of the day, it's a spell. We all been caught in a spell, man. You understand? And you got to break through it, man, for you to really, really live life, man. Shout out to the most high, man. The higher power, man. Give thanks to him, too, as well, man. Because without this, without the higher power, we nothing, man. So y'all already know, man. Shout out to everybody, man. All my red pill dudes, man. You understand? Like I said, Thinking Man Templar, Black Ram, Von Doom, and all y'all other brothers who I don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all too, man. But all my supporters, like, comment, subscribe, man. And like I said, I love y'all, man, from the bottom of my heart. This means so, so much to me because I'm helping people. I always was a person that wanted to help people, and now I can help people. And like I said, I love y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Share the video. Leave comments, man. I want to hear y'all input. And like I said, man, I love y'all, man. And, and like I said, y'all kings. And I love y'all, man. Keep up the good work, man. To all my brothers and all my red pillars, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And have a good, my, good night. Salute to y'all, man. I love y'all.